Thought I was gonna see you at work this morning, 8 a.m. Didn't waste my summer. Ted, what are they doing here? Oscar nominee Thomas Hayden Church back on the big screen with the new film Max. It's opening this weekend. And Thomas, thank you for joining Max us this morning. The previews the for this movie look great. And uh, Max is a movie about a military dog from Afghanistan who is adopted by his late handler's grieving family that's in the U.S. And some people are saying this is a family film. Others are saying this is an action movie. What do you think? Uh, good morning, and thank you. I'd like to throw a shout out to uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, <laughs> where I lived off and on for many, many years, and yeah. and attended the great University of North Texas. Right. Um, you know, it is. I think it's all of the above. It's uh, it starts out as a war film. It becomes a bit more of a family drama, and then it does turn into, I think, a harrowing action uh, film that it really sort of centers around the the young our younger son who played by Josh Wiggins and the uh -huh. dog Max uh, but with well I was pretty involved in all of that sequence myself yeah you play the so father all of those yeah you play the father in the movie who loses his son it's set in Lufkin Texas uh, near Lackland Air Force Base and yeah you do have a ton of Texas ties you grew up in Texas I uh, went to University of North Texas, as you mentioned. Do you still have a, a, a ranch in the in the hill country here? Of course. Nice. Uh, I have for s 16 years, and I was just at Lackland Air Force Base on Sunday uh, doing an event there, and uh, it was uh, it was was profoundly sort of uh, honored to meet uh, a lot of wounded warrior uh, uh, war dogs. Yeah. Uh, they had, they trained the war dogs. It's a big war dog training center in, at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. And I uh, was fortunate to meet a lot of the handlers, but wow. some dogs that have been wounded in action in Afghanistan and Iraq. But yes, my character is himself a wounded vet uh, from mm -hmm. Desert Storm who does compel the older son to also become a Marine. And then he goes in to or is de deployed to, to Afghanistan. But, um, you know, when the dog comes back and is really not of use to anybody anymore uh, because his handler's been killed. We take him in, but it's also reciprocity, right. him taking us in. Yeah. And that, and then it's, you know, towards the end of the movie, there are some other, some other things afoot. Okay, so I was reading about the dog in the movie, Carlos, apparently chosen because this dog, everybody thought he was so photogenic it's been a while since we've had a real <laughs> dog featured in a film like this. Is it safe to say he, he sort of steals the show? Uh, we used five different dogs. Uh, Carlos was definitely the main dog and had a very specific personality, which is typical of the Belgian Malinois. Carlos was just always ready to go. Yeah. He just was always ready to, to hunt to, you know, to, to attack, to search. He just was always, these were all rescue dogs that were trained to do exactly what the war dogs do in, you know, in the, the battle zones in, in the Middle East. Well, I know there are a lot of people looking, there are, there are, looking forward to seeing this movie. Uh, go ahead. Thank you so much, Thomas. Well, good. We appreciate thank it. You. They're, they're giving me a wrap. I'd love to Absolutely. talk to you about it more, but thank you so much. Appreciate it and looking forward to seeing it. Call me. Okay. <laughs> Max is rated PG. You can see it in theaters starting tomorrow night. We'll put a link on our website, fox4news.com. It is